Right now in Jefferson County, one of the more popular parking lots for people who head to the mountains has become the scene of a homicide investigation. Now deputies need your help figuring out who killed a man in the Woolly Mammoth parking lot that's off of Highway 40 near I-70. Friday afternoon, deputies were conducting a routine patrol when they found this man, 57-year-old Matthew Heyer, dead in an RV. Well, now people who use that lot say they are worried about their own safety. Olivia Young is on top of the developments tonight and Olivia you spoke to people who were actually there on Friday. I did Kelly and they were actually parked right by where that mm. RV was found. Now take a look at this photo. This was the RV that that victim was found in. The people I spoke to say they park in this lot all the time but they never saw anything suspicious. Around 345 Friday afternoon, a routine patrol quickly turned into a homicide investigation for Jeff Code deputies. He saw a motorhome that uh, he's seen here before. Uh, door was standing open on it, and he decided to uh, take a look at it. Inside, the deputy found 57-year-old Matthew Heyer shot to death. This is the area of Woolly Mammoth parking lot where police found Matthew on Friday. They're asking anyone who recognizes him or his RV to reach out. It's very troubling. Yeah. yeah, that was a little shocking. This group of skiers have been parking in the lot for decades and never felt unsafe. Always a little concerned, you know, when you're leaving the car that maybe somebody would break in, you know. Friday, they parked nearby just hours before Matthew was found. 31 o'clock. Yeah. We all showed up and we all carpooled. But they don't remember seeing the RV. I'd say the parking lot was probably about as packed as it is right now. It wasn't overly crowded or anything. And I don't recall seeing um, an RV or anything suspicious. Visibility was really bad when we were here because it was, it was snowing hard. Investigators don't know exactly when Matthew was shot and are looking to narrow down a timeline. We are looking for help from the public in general. If they've seen Matthew, any extended family, anyone that's talked to him, we're trying to establish when someone last saw him alive. They have a number of leads and believe Matthew was killed by someone he knew. There is no ongoing threat to the public at this time. Now take another look at this RV. If you know anything about it or the victim, you can call the numbers on your screen. That's the tip line or Crime Stoppers. You can remain anonymous and earn a reward of up to $2,000. Kelly. All right, Olivia, thank you so much.